what's better than spending time with family playing a game and so today I've got 10 new ones telling you the game the age how many players can play in it the difficulty of it and the time it takes of course Monopoly's not on this list because I couldn't find how long it took to uh, finish the game uh, because it's still going on from 10 years ago um, so that's why that one's not on here uh, but we've still got 10 of us that are new let's go Number 10 is called Ticket to Ride, it is about a train, it's for 8 plus, and the number of players it has is 2 to 5. Difficulty on it is quite easy, according to multiple sources, and the average time of it to take the player is 60 minutes, so one whole hour. Is it worth the fun? Have you played any of these games on the list? Let me know in the comment section down below. Number 9 is called Haunted Mansion Call of the Spirit. It's also for 8 plus. 2 to 6 players this time. A moderate difficulty, meaning middle. It's easy and it's hard at the same time. And the average time to play this game is about 30 minutes. So you could have 2 games of this in a time it takes you to play 1 of Ticket to Ride. Number 8 is called Feared of Mentality. This one's for 10 plus. So two years more than the other two. Of course, people are going to play them if they're younger or older, or actually older than they can play it. Of course, that some people are going to play them younger. Um, same with everything, but these are just advice ages, but not too many people um, go by that nowadays. But number eight still, it's 14 to 20 players, so quite a lot for this game. And apparently, it's an easy difficulty, and it also lacks. 30 minutes. Number 7 is 221B Baker Street and this is like a mystery game. It's for 10 plus also, 2-6 to six players, moderate difficulty and lasts about 60 minutes and then this one actually sounds really cool. Uh, it's about mystery and you have to find out all different things. So definitely sounds very interesting that one. Number 6 is a card game, it's called Shushigo. It could be any age to play this one, there's no recommended age. And players 2 to 5 you can have. Difficulty is easy and it lasts about 15 minutes. So you can have 4 of them or 1 game of 221 Baker Street Mystery. Which one do you choose? Number 5 is sort of a general knowledge quiz, it's called Articulate. 12 plus and it's full 20 plus players so this game can have so many players. The difficulty is moderate so once you get once again hard and easy and the time to play is 30 to 60 minutes so it does depend. Of course if you have more people it's going to take a bit longer. Number 4 is called Wingspan. It's a 10 plus game with 2 to 4 players being able to play. The difficulty is moderate and it lasts about 40 minutes. Number 3 is a little bit like Pictionary but with dough. It's called Racky Dough. If you've never played Pictionary before, basically you have to draw something and then uh, other people have to guess what it is but you can't say anything. You just have to keep drawing it. Um, and then if the other people guess what it is then you get a point. But this is like with dough instead of a pen. Uh, Pictionary is a class game so this was just be fun and funny really uh, because Joe yeah probably gets everywhere. This one 8 plus all plus players and apparently it's an easy difficulty and only takes 30 minutes to play. Number two is called Catan. It's 
10 plus game with 3 to 4 players being able to play. Hard difficulty this one apparently. It lasts 60 minutes. And number one, there was no particular order for this one. But number one is called Spot Debt. It's from it's for six plus and players are two to eight. And the difficulty is apparently easy, but the game left and right. So, as I said before, if you've played any of these games, let me know in the comment section down below. Very interesting, because some of them sound very interesting. Let me know if you have played any of them before, and let me know if they are any good. Uh, if not, let me know if you're like the name of any of them. Um, I'm gonna ask for any four. Christmas was only nine days away. Wow, that is close. So, thank you all very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please do drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Bye guys.